Welcome back. Two brothers find themselves back at our creek we were two weeks ago. We've got Pete from Pete's Gold Adventures. Mr. Steve from Grubby's Golden Pay Dirt. And we are expecting JM prospecting tomorrow morning. Should hopefully be a good night and a good day on the gold. Already had one pan. Didn't get anything at all. Moved up the creek and going to try another one from right about here. That last pan, no good. So I've got another one. Very nice. Got that one from just there. Pan was a little bit better. A nice piece and a little friend. I'm going to have another pan from that spot. I just panned a ripper of a bit. Have a look at this one. Check out that fella in there. Oh yeah. I think there might be a struggle getting her up the snuffy. Well, that is probably the worst problem to have. Nope, she ain't fitting up there. Oh yeah. Don't often get a uh, nice bit of gold where you can't fit it up the schnuffle bottle. First pan out of there was good. Second pan was even better. Hopefully the third one is even better. Not as good as the first and the second, but I'm pretty much down to bedrock now and I'm struggling to get anything out with a shovel. So I'm gonna have to make my way back to camp and get a yabby pump. Oh yeah, I think that's a good idea. I didn't manage to get the yabby pump because the scooty was using it, but enough time for my hole to clear up to see where them nice bits come from. There's plenty to work there. Get rid of them big rocks and all the way up to about there. That's where I've been panning about there. I reckon I might move them too and that one as well and start punching in there. Oh yeah, I like it when big rocks like this drop out. That was a horrible flow. That one was a bit better. These damn reeds, they're so sharp and pointy. Told you they're sharp. Stabbed me already. Beautiful day on the creek. Waiting for Pete to rock up. James is going to come tomorrow morning, I think. He has to work today. <laughs> That sounds like Pete coming down the track now. I don't think I've got anything to be honest. Might do one more and then make my way back and go say good day to Pete. There you go. Quick pan. Another nice little bit, and a friend, and a tiny, tiny friend. All right, I'm gonna go say hi to Pete. Get stuck in old Pete. So team, here we all, down on the creek. There's uh, Stevie down there, Pete's down there, Baz, James, James prospecting. Myself and Andy. I think that's about it. Steve has set his high bank up over there and he's got me a bit um, antsy to set something up. Now, I couldn't be bothered dragging the high bank down here, so I've stalled JM Prospecting's uh, battery and sluice. I'm going to set him up over here somewhere. Classify out some gravel and give her a run and see what happens. Set it up and I'll show you what I'm doing. 
Okay, got myself set up. Class Boston gravel out of here. Go through there. Great night hanging out with uh, with Pete from Pete's God Adventures and Baz, 3D Life. Always laughing, always carrying on. Good fun. And hopefully the boys get on some gold today. As if not, Pete's not going to be happy we brought him to a shit spot again. <clears throat> Doing what we love. Probably could have had a bit more water flow in there, but what do you do? You have what you have. All right, done my first quarter bucket. Turn the pump off now and um, fill up that bucket a little bit more again. Run it through, and then we might do a check in the pan. See if I manage to land any any juicy bits of gold without falling over. <laughs> two quarter buckets worth what do we got there a few specs one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen four fifteen specs or so that's pretty good it's not as fast a running power as i'd normally uh enjoy doing in the river you know i'm, I'm all about shoveling straight in and just not having to stress so i did a pan got that nice little piece from out of me hole there and I just couldn't help myself I thought I'd better classify another bucket down just make sure I'm not missing anything I really want like that juicy little bit Grubby's pay dirt, having a high bank. It's good to see he's got his high banker out. He hasn't had it out for a while. All I ever, ever see him do is pen, but it's good to see him out. Hope he finds a big old smacking chunk. And Pete's over the back behind him as well. He's having to go uh, panning and classifying with young Baza. And Andy and James from JM Prospecting are crushing some species that James had lying around, bits of quartz and things, samples and stuff, so we've got the inverter going up there, got the um, battery hooked up to that, so she runs. That's really cool. Everybody's getting together, having a good time, finding whatever we can. <laughs> I'm going to keep running this bucket of dirt through and I'll show you what I get. Alrighty, I've cleaned out the sluice mat and I'm panning down. <laughs> Thank you. 
get behind that rock. A couple more bits for my bucket. Not too bad. For a sort of one, maybe half bucket. Tell you what, high banks are a hell of a lot easier than sluicing. Anyway, it was a bit of fun, something different. I don't think I've ever even done that before, apart from at home. So, uh, yeah. I'm gonna pack up and take James' sluice back. Maybe I'll have a beer. Because <laughs> I definitely haven't had one yet. Pete and Baz. Pete's Gold Adventures, 3D Life. Dandy. And uh, JM Prospecting James. Woo! Stevie! Are you having any luck? Yeah? yeah? Okay. Cool. Oh, it's Batman. Oh, Batman. Batman. <laughs> We've had a great weekend. James and Steve are heading off. Pete's probably going to head off too. Where are you, Pete? Over there. Thanks for a great weekend, guys. Always a pleasure to have you around. Did you enjoy it? Absolutely. Awesome. Can't wait for the next one. Yeah, hopefully you take this place with better guys. <laughs> 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 now I've got a little happy smile. You did. All right, guys. See you on the next one.